Hey guys, happy Monday. It is Monday, October the 8th. Um, so I just want to go over where we've been last week and where we're, gonna, where we're going this week and some key things to keep in mind as we are rapidly approaching the end of our time together. Uh, first off, uh, if you had an opportunity to be watching it, I hope you did. Otherwise, uh, hopefully you watch part of it on the news, but you got a sense of the, that process to confirm a federal judge. In this case, it was the United States Supreme Court judge, which often gets a lot more press than uh, maybe somebody uh, recommended for a district court judge. But nonetheless, it really is the same process where they appear in front of the Judiciary Committee. Uh, this one was a little bit more interesting than some in the past, so hopefully you walked away with a sense of um, how this whole process works. Um, and obviously, for those of you who had an opportunity to watch it, um, there is politics in it. I mean, it's always been there and probably always will be. And it's probably um, something that the founding fathers had decided was uh, a good thing to debate. Um, so, and I hope you had a chance to watch it um, and appreciate uh, the process. I think it was pretty timely. Um, so last week, you worked on your milestone number two, um, and you had to use some outside reading resources to answer some of the questions associated with this week's, um, uh, last week's um, milestone two assignment. Um, and I hope I, you walked away with a good sense of how these processes and tools uh, work when it comes to uh, court efficiency. Uh, specifically, I hope you learned something about electronic filing or e-filing, uh, case flow management, uh, policies regarding continuances. Uh, let me make sure I got a few other things here. Um, docket management. All of these things play an important part in the overall court efficiency. So this last week when you were working on your milestone two assignment, um, what you were doing is going back and referencing a, a lot of this material. Same way uh, with the calendaring. Um, you, you walked with an idea of how uh, courts calendar cases, the use of technology to help facilitate the calendar cases, uh, those type of things. All right. Don't read too much into what expected here. Um, you, you know, the focus just needed to be on uh, what was in that reading material. Uh, again, electronic filing, uh, case form management, docket management programs, continuation policy, and those types of things, okay? So I hope um, those were helpful. Uh, I'll be reading those here this week, and I'll get those done as soon as I can because you can use that feedback as you begin to complete your final project, all right? Um, take, again, or take time to look at the grading rubric for the final paper, um, look at my suggestions and recommendations, and incorporate those into your final paper. Um, use the assignment guidelines grading rubric as your outline because otherwise my experience is that you will forget to put in one or two of the critical elements and that will have a negative impact on your score, all right? And I'll talk more about that probably next week. Um, so this week, you're looking at a couple of interesting topics. One is a change of venue and uh, look at it from the context of change of venue uh, for our scenario, um, but it has to do with criminal cases. So this will help you uh, as you begin to complete the final project where we go back to visiting that, that issue of venue, implications of venue, uh, things like that and change of venue requests. Uh, this week's short paper is on mandatory minimum sentences and judicial efficiency. Um, it is important this week and definitely next week to make sure you take a look at my short module lectures because uh, we're going to be talking about some concepts that are going to be on the final paper that really aren't discussed in the textbook um, or any of our assignments. So. Those are things such as statute of limitation, uh, discovery delay, um, to some extent the litigation process. 
So make sure you read my short, or not read, uh, watch my short module lecture, all right, uh, for the next couple of weeks, as I think you'll find it to be very beneficial, uh, especially the final part paper, and, and I go over that in some detail um, in week number seven. So that having been said, um, hang in there. We are almost done. Uh, you guys have been doing a great job. Um, hopefully it, it's all beginning to click. Uh, sometimes this class can be tough, so that's why it's important, and that's why I post my short module lectures, so hopefully I fill in the gaps between uh, the readings and what's expected on your assignments, and hopefully my short module lectures uh, get, get you going in the right direction. Um, if you ever have any questions or concerns over the next couple of weeks, if it's an emergency, if it's an urgent thing, uh, call or text me, it's not a problem. Uh, if you text, just tell me who you are and what class you're in, uh, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. All right, um, so I think that's it. Uh, have a good week. Uh, again, if you have any questions or concerns, never hesitate to contact me, but uh, you guys are doing a great job. Hang in there. we just got a couple more weeks left to go. All right, um, look forward to seeing you guys in Blackboard soon, and again, if you have any questions, don't ever hesitate to reach out. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.